Welcome. You have landed once again on the channel of the Ebb Fats, a Championship Manager 0102 channel. Um, today we are going to be talking about the application that you see in front of you, which is called CM Scout. Um, I think anyone who has played the game has heard of this application. It will allow you to search for any player in your database, any club in your database. Um, and we're just going to quickly run through today how that works. Um, but first of all, uh, let me just ask you to hit a like on this video if you enjoy share the content with people that you feel may enjoy also comment below with anything that i've missed or any other videos that you think i should be making and then obviously subscribe to the channel as well um, so without further ado here we go into cm scout um, so you see it in front of you it is a pretty easy application to use um, first thing you will need to be doing is clicking this little yellow folder here and that will allow you to then load up your save game that you want to look at. So the one I'm going to click on here is called Game Start ODB. And that is a save I have, which is essentially just the first day of um, 3.9.60 save. Um, so that will give everyone on day one, essentially. Um, so we'll run through the options that you have in the scout um, so file obviously is another way of opening up a save options will give you a number of preferences so you see on my one here it's defaulted to name nation club position ability that's current ability potential ability age value and scout rating so what you will do as you'll see in the bottom right corner there it's the 14th of july 2001 if i wanted to look on I don't know, New Year's Day 2002, what I would do in game is save in game, then load up um, the scout um, on that day, click the save, and then that day, instead of saying 14th of July, would say 1102. And the figures that you find would be updated if players have grown, if their attributes have, have gone up or down, if they've changed club, etc. What you can do on this preferences menu though is change the things that are listed. So you'll see here on the columns tab, um, there's the different ones that I've got ticked, ability, age, club, etc. etc. You can choose essentially any attribute that is available in the game. If you want to search for someone who's good at taking corners, you can tick corners. If you want creativity, you can do creativity. Um, if you want loyalty, you can do loyalty. So if, for example, I was to say finishing, if I added finishing as a attribute I wanted to search, and I removed scout rating, when I press OK, scout rating will magically disappear and be replaced by finishing. So then if I searched on the binoculars here, and P is for player. If I was to just press OK, that would load every single player in this saves database. And then once that has happened, it gives a figure here for all their finishing attributes. So if I was to click that at the top to sort that row, that would then show every more or more or less player. Um, in alphabetical order with a 20 attribute there they go there they continue to go so obviously it's not all about getting just finishing that will help you obviously with a striker um, but I mean if we look at Iver here he's a defensive left midfielder he's a left wing back but he's got 20 for finishing yeah so if we wanted to change finishing, remove that, we would then click out of that. If we wanted to look at someone with the highest home rep, we would again do that. We'll be getting the big name players here. At the top of that list is 
Sean Gota, and then Zidane Zamorano Weyer. So in their home league of Bordeaux, for Smertin, shall we say, um, his reputation is very, very high. Yeah, another example, we'll do one more. Um, we'll remove the home rep. We'll add something from the near the bottom of the list. World rep, we've got transfer status. Not sure transfer status will show anything up, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, so everyone is listed pretty much as unknown because it's day one. If we were to sort it, these players are all free transfers, so they don't have any transfer status. They're looking for a club. But there you see some players already listed for loan. There'll be some listed for transfer. I think I'm scrolling the wrong way for those there. Yeah, so you get the idea. So I'm going to reset and take the transfer status off and go back to the one that I keep on there, which is scout rating. So, as you can see, it's listed 96,965 players. And that's every player in the database for this save I've loaded. You can list them by um, their current ability. So if I was to sort that file, Zinedine, Zinedine Zidane, Oliver Kahn and Juan Sebastian Veron are currently the best players in this save at 190 current ability. Obviously we know 21 years down the line it's not just all about current ability that makes a player but if we were to hit potential ability there are some players that maybe you've not heard of Paul Cadrea, Fabio Luciani, Marco Cirillo and Marco Iodici all have a potential ability of 200 the maximum that can be so this is where people sometimes say that cm scout is a bit of a cheat application because you could just come into this at any time search by potential ability um, you get these four here that are unknown all in italian clubs you could just sign those up for peanuts train them up either play them or sell them on later for massive profit so people um, can come into this application and do that search by potential ability find the cheapest youngest players look let me find Jose Fernando here is valued at just five thousand pounds but has a potential ability of 196 you can sign him up um, sell him on for massive profit later and make yourself some money there other things that you can do in the application is essentially just narrow down your search parameters. So if you're looking for a particular player, um, you can use any of these things that you see in front of you. You can narrow down their position that they play, their ability and potential ability, as we mentioned. Um, if you're looking for someone with high home reputation, current reputation, world reputation, you can do that. You click on the current tab here, you can search for players that are available on free or if their contract has expired but they're still playing for a club, anyone who's unprotected, players with a minimum fee release clause. You could sign you could search for just them. Players that are transfer listed by their club or by request, players that are listed for loan, players that have squad statuses that are uncertain or not needed by club. Obviously you you're looking at players that may be easier to sign in those instances. The final two tabs you see here are on attributes. So these are the player attributes. So if you're looking for a particular player that is, I don't know, a forward who, who's young, plays for a particular country, um, based in a particular country, you can narrow down using all these tabs. But if you're looking for a particular person who has, let's say for a striker, finishing off the ball, pace, all those things that are good for a striker, 
you can use these things so they're all here acceleration adaptability aggression agility so on and so forth up to J and then you click on attributes 2 and you have the rest long shots loyalty marking some are hidden attributes some are ones that you see in the game when the fourth column is not visible so let's use an example shall we let's say um, we'll look for someone from I don't know the Belarus who is an attacker um, let's look for someone whose finishing is quite high let's start at 15 maybe we can look for one who is I don't know 20 or under I think you can probably see where I'm going with this so we search and we see who comes up we get three uh, Konchevoy, Rodionov and uh, some unknown name called Maxim Zigalko. So we can click on him and see his actual attributes at that point. So finishing at 20, he's determined, off the ball, pace, all the things we know that make a superb striker. Um, and we know Maxim is a superb striker. Hidden attributes you see here, he's consistent. Important match is not great, but he's loyal, he has natural fitness. And this here shows ability of 70, potential ability of 109. That shows that CA and PA are not the be all and end all of a top player. So that's how you search for players. Obviously, you can do that if you wanted to on these drop down menus, but I just use the binoculars. The other things you can do is search for a team. So you may not know what type of player you're looking for, but you know you're going to look for someone and you're going to buy them from a particular team. So I'll search for my particular team. Click them in and that brings up their squad. Robert, Dyer, Shearer, Solano, Gavilan, Amiobi, all these players. Um, so you could say, if I'm looking to weaken a side, I don't know, you're playing as Newcastle, you want to weaken Arsenal, you can have a look at Arsenal and say, oh, Vieira's the man, maybe Seaman, he's a bit old, no, maybe if we go for Thierry Henry, there's his value at 12.5 million, so you're going to have to pay big bucks to get him. But you could search by value and say, hmm, Graham Stack. He's only 285,000. May need to pay a little bit more than that. Um, but he could be a person I could take from them um, and weaken them in the goalkeeping department. Yep, so that is basically how the scout works. Um, you can use it if you wish to, to save shortlists. So let's give an example of that. Let's reset. So let's say if I were to look for under 21s with a potential ability of 185 or more, that would then filter them all out. What it would bring you is, as we can see here, a list of 52 players. You could then, if you wish to save, and that will bring you up a load of different filters. Um, so you could save that, then you go into game, into one of the scout uh, slots, scout one to seven, and then load that shortlist there. So another way of uh, manipulating the game, I guess. So you would go into this, find all the players that are potentially world class, and then just import them into the game. That kind of thing is where people look at it and think it's a an application that you shouldn't be using in a truthful uh, game but obviously obviously people say play the game however you want to as well um, so yeah that is it that is CM Scout um, it's a, a handy little application can be used for a number of things if you're I don't know playing a save where you can only buy players from certain African nations so you'd be able to type in your uh, random country. Allow me 
to do it. Let's try again. There we go. Click it there. And that will then bring up every player in the database who is from the country of Burkina Faso. You would then uh, repeat for different countries. Zambia, Rwanda, South Africa, whatever you want. If you were to try and build a, a whole African uh, squad, things like that. So it can be used for good. Some people think it can be used for bad as well. I'll leave you to make up your own mind on that. But that is CM Scout. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, please do like, share, subscribe, comment below for anything that I've missed in this video or any other videos that you feel I should be making. Um, let's continue playing. Let's continue enjoying and keeping the game alive. See you soon.